Here I have a PDF with many rich and unique images embedded inside of it. If this is all I had left of this content, is this PDF, how could I get these images out? I can't drag them out of the PDF into my InDesign file. I can't drag them on my desktop. But there's many images in here that I may want to use. Perhaps I need to make a new presentation, or I want to make a web page, or I want to make a new layout. But the fact is, I, I, I need to get at these, these images. How can we do that? Well, within Adobe InDesign and Marksware's new PDF DTP plugin, that is one way to extract images from your PDF files. Now, before I do that, you might be tempted to say, hey, let's now assume that you also have not only this PDF, but you have the native file of this PDF. And if I drop this PDF on Marksware's Flight Check, Flight Check is a tool that will pre flight 50 file formats to let you know problems before they occur. Now, what we get is first the results screen where you get everything in plain English to see what might be the problems. In this case, I just want to skip over to the to the main window here, and we see the file info, and we, we have some, some problems with PDF compliancy, PDFX. That aside, what you'll see is information that can help me find out who was the creator of this PDF. Well, it was myself, but more importantly, the uh, application was PowerPoint. And I found my original content, and I now have it open in PowerPoint. So you might be tempted to get into PowerPoint and go down to that image you want. Perhaps I want to use this customer quote, which we have permission to use. Perhaps I want to use that in InDesign. So I go into InDesign, and I make my new print layout. So perhaps I want this image of uh, Derek here. And I'm going to drag and drop it, and I'm going to do edit, copy, and I'm going to go into InDesign, and I'm going to do edit, paste, and now I get the image there. So you can see I can drag and drop and or copy and paste into InDesign, and I'll leave them both there. And, you know, I'm going to get some text here, you know, and I can continue building this, of course. I'm going to do a file, save as. I think I've got the original content. I'm going to you know, save it as untitled. I save it to my desktop. Now I go to the pre-flight. It tells me no errors in InDesign. So I think everything's okay. I go File, Package. I don't know why they don't have Package right next to pre-flight, but anyway, that's why we have Mark's Risk Flight Check to help you with that. I'm just showing you how a lot of people do it in Indes InDesign and might get a false sense of well-being links and images wait a minute there's no links and images colors print fonts oh, wait a minute no links and images they're they're right here i just i just copied and pasted them right from from powerpoint no well, anyway let's see what happens i package continue and we'll package that up now what you see here Here's the InDesign collected folder. You see we get the document, we get the some instructions handy, we get the document fonts, but where are the images? Well, let's see real quick what Flight Check tells us with this with this untitled file here we just created. Right away we have some problems, including one called stored. And you'll see they two images or two stored images with no name and here they are and these are the culprits there's only two images we use in that file and they're both marked as stored which we have you know set up in our ground controls to check for and that's a problem because that means those images aren't actually on our hard drive aren't on our system they've just you know they just previewed in the document because we copied and pasted from PowerPoint so flight check warns you in red right away watch out problems with this file you you can't collect it we also collect in flight check and package all fonts and images and you'll see we can even compress the folder 
And you'll see if we, co if we collect it, what Flight Check tells us is watch out. This file's got big problems. And we see in there, we also get a pre-flight report, the file and the fonts, but no images because Flight Check warned us, at least, that those aren't really images. It's a pre-flight error. InDesign doesn't even warn you about it. And now we just want to get those images out of that PDF because we know we can't, we see now we can't drag and drop images into InDesign from PowerPoint. I can't copy images out of preview on my Mac from the PDF into InDesign. How can I get the native high resolution image out of the PDF? Well, that's where Marksware's PDF DTP, a new product from Marksware, in addition to Flight Check and Page Zephyr and many other award winning products we have, like Q to ID for converting Quark files to InDesign. And PDF DTP works in both Quark and or InDesign. You can buy for either or. And it's a tool that will convert your entire PDF into InDesign or Quark, InDesign in this case. And you'll see here an important part, you get a job folder and you save that job folder and that's going to be where we actually extract the image out of the PDF. And we go to Marks where PDF DTP, Convert PDF, we select the PDF on our desktop, we click open, it's now converting the entire PowerPoint PDF into an InDesign layout but also extracting all the images high resolution as embedded. And there we go. Get the entire document, images, text, the whole works, and most importantly in this little example is there's Derek, his lovely quote on PDF DTP, and we can now go in and get out of this document and see in the in the job folder we just saved out. What we see are all the images. Now, it, it extracts image per image, page per page, so you get a lot of duplicates. But what you see is, you know, you get the full, the full image at size, used, and resolution embedded. So this is fantastic. And then we can get down to the image we need. Derek. There it is. And now, if we go back into that InDesign file, I should have not put it in my trash. I take it out of my trash and if I now go in there as they say three is a charm if I file place or you can also drag and drop an image from the proper location into the document and I can put it in there and that's when you you know in InDesign file place is a proper way to place an image not copy and paste from Word or PowerPoint or from the internet and we have a whole video on that. Please watch it. A lot of people are doing these, these mistakes, and it causes files to go corrupt and die on you. Yes, Marksware can fix them sometimes. So that's the whole point of Marksware's pre-flight and our file conversion and file recovery service. But you, you could better pre-flight and do things properly from the beginning than be fixing bad files. All right, so now we have the, the third Dirk in there. It's located in this, this image 55, P15. Extracted from PDF DTP, we now save this file. And now, if we go to InDesign package links and images, hey, there's one. Look at that. The other two still don't show up, though. Isn't that kind of you can also do show problems only? Doesn't really matter. Preflight file. And now you see a file shows up and is available for collection, but it is RGB and it is out of the resolution we need for high-level printing. You know, how the file is embedded in PDF depends on the resolution it will be extracted at. It extracts at the same resolution and size used. One problem that is not there with this particular image is when we go to collect it, it's going to get everything. And we can do that here, collect. Yeah, we still get the watch out, your file has certain problems. But if we go inside of there, and we now go into see the images folder, and there's Dirk with the exact name used. 
Well, as you saw, that's how you can extract images from a PDF file. Matter of fact, get your entire PDF back into InDesign or Quark Express. Dirk and many others use this, and don't be tempted to use drag and drop or copy and paste from PowerPoint or Word into your InDesign file. It can be very tricky, as you saw, and even misleading. Use proper pre-flight with flight check and extract the images properly for proper high res usage. Folks, that's been how to extract images from a PDF file. For more information on PDF DTP or flight check, go over to marksware.com and under the product section, you can get more valuable information. David Dilling from Marksware, wishing you a great day.